There are many types of ferns in our landscape. You've probably noticed they tend to be found in shady areas. Um, these ferns actually do well in an area that's uh, relatively dry, but most ferns uh, require a fair amount of moisture and live in areas that are wet. Um, ferns are a group of plants that, unlike uh, the pine trees and like flowering plants, they do not produce pollen. But of course, they still need to reproduce. And for uh, ferns, I'm just going to look at the underside of um, these um, leaflets here, these fronds. Um, you see these little clusters underneath the fronds, which are called, um, uh, which are sori, or clusters of sporangi. Uh, the sori contain spores which the fern uses to disperse so that it can grow in a different area. They're not actually uh, the way they reproduce. Um, for them to reproduce, they need water. They actually have um, mobile sperm that swim along the fronds and droplets of water to fertilize the egg. But these things are little tiny uh, packets of cells that when they dry up, they pop open and they uh, spread the spores to another place and if they land someplace wet then that will allow for reproduction to happen and they're kind of neat to look at you know if you different types of uh, uh, ferns have different types of packets of spores and if we look at these here that a different type of fern that are growing low to the ground you can see that these don't quite look uh, mature yet they're um, usually they're brown when they're ready to uh, uh, pop open um, these are kind of still kind of greenish color um, so anyway, it's just something to notice when you're walking through the woods, looking at ferns. Again, uh, never, uh, you know, destroy a plant, pick it, uh, take a uh, souvenir or anything, look at it, take a picture, and uh, learn something new.